All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for a new knife and a new company to me uh, and a really, really nicely done knife from Fintiso. Interesting uh, company here. I uh, thought I would check this out. It comes by way of the Lefty Pass Around Group from uh, Fintiso. This is uh, the Falcon, which is a 3.26 inch outdoor folding knife, black new, and it is uh, really, really cool. That's uh, pretty cool packaging as well. Comes with a zip-up uh, case here and the whole uh, shebang. So let's take a look at this guy right off the bat. It is uh, the Falcon. Really interesting drop point shape here with a harpoon uh, and a really cool uh, contoured, uh, not contoured, but chamfered and milled G10 handle here uh, from Fintiso. So let's clear some of this junk off. There we go. And let's get into this. Now you do have, again, black G10. You have some really cool milling there and along the top for a big chamfer. Uh, again, there you do have a very cool blue backspacer here with a nice uh, lanyard hole. Now, um, you do not have a reversible clip, unfortunately. Uh, and you do have a loop over, but it is not deep. So, uh, it carries with quite a bit sticking out of the pocket there, uh, but not too bad all, when all is said and done. Uh, you do have full on liners here, and there is, let's see, there is not, yeah, there is. There's quite a bit. I couldn't see it at first. It's quite a bit of milling for weight reduction there. It is a, a full liner uh, with a liner lock here, locked up at about 25% uh, percent there. And by the way, good access to the lock bar and a chamfer. Now, I'm not sure why they didn't just bring that chamfer on down um, for those of us that might want to disengage it further down, but whatever. It's all right. Um, it is locked up very nicely. No lock rock or blade play. And when we are closed, you can see um, we do have nice centering. Now, it doesn't quite come as far out as it could. I do wish it came a little bit further out. Now, you do have... Uh, thumb studs and a flipper tab. Flipper tab has lots of jimping. There's your um, lovely stop pin. You do have, um, uh, wow, bearings there. Very, very cool indeed. And I love the details they've put into this. Now, one of my favorite details is you have this gray coating here on the blade, but you can see there's a part of the blade there that is not coated. It's been milled clean, and the reason is uh, because they call this an outdoors knife, which it could be used for hunting or, or hiking or fishing or camping or whatever, uh, they have left you a spot for striking a fire steel. How cool is that? So it is 90 degrees right there, and I can confirm it feels nice and sharp, so it could uh, definitely start uh, a fire steel for you there. There's your Fintiso pivot. Um, again, detent is really nice. You're not shaking this one out. Uh, good on the thumb stud, good on the flipper, and then we drop fairly easily, as you can see. A little weighty blade here because you've got um, not a you know a, not a really thin stock here, and it's not a super high uh, grind to take a lot of weight out. Now you do have a nice uh, swedge there, and this beautiful drop point blade. Now. Uh, you can see they left us a ton of room for a finger choil here. Um, you have kind of a flat uh, area here for your original grip. Uh, it is a four-finger grip. And my first issue here is this clip. You do definitely feel that right there uh, in the pad of my finger. I feel that very much. Beautiful landing area here for your thumb. Your jimping is kind of inconsequential for me. It's way back here. I wish it came on out if they were going to do it, commit to it, and do it. Um, again, you can choke up. Now, how does that clip feel when I choke up? I still feel it. Um, so, yeah, again, not sure we needed that big turn up there that actually sits higher than the rest of the clip. It does have plenty of room in the pocket. The clip is fine. Uh, goes in and out fine. It's not a big issue, but just something to think about there. Um, and again, a really interesting, really cool looking design in my opinion. And you still have plenty of blade shape uh, to play with here. Now, if we do our comparisons, there's your Rat 1, and it is bigger than the Fintisa Falcon. And the Rat 2 
is a little bit smaller than the Falcon. So um, really interesting shape. Now let's go over uh, the specs real quick. And we may have to do some of these uh, with a ruler because they don't really give us all the specs on their website, which is super interesting. So we'll have to get the scale out here as well. But the first thing you need to know is this guy is a 3.26 inch blade uh, and it is $54. I will leave the link down below. It's in 14C and they're saying the hardness is 62. And I will give that a giant thumbs up. Very good to know. Um, and again, ergonomic G10 handle and then fire starter function. Um, and then that's really all the information they kind of give us. So let's see. Um, our blade overall is, uh, as you can see, like three and a quarter, but we are just like two and, um, two and five eighths, uh, is what I would call the length of the actual blade. Your grip uh, length here is three and three quarters. Your whole handle is right at four inches. Um, where did I put the blade? Great. Where did I put my, uh, I don't see my scale. So we won't be weighing this after all, which is uh, sad. Nope. Here we go. Got it. So um, I'm always losing stuff. You guys, if you've watched the channel long enough, you know I lose stuff. So here we go. 4.4 ounces, so it is a little heavier. And then, um, unfortunately, uh, I wish they gave us blade stock thickness, uh, handle thickness. I feel pretty comfortable telling you that is, I would call that 0.55, guys. It is pretty thick. Uh, again, it feels good for me. It might be more like 0.58, to be real. And then my guess on this stock, uh, let's see, it is... I would call that eighth of an inch stock, okay? Um, and that's it's not bad. And again, they bring it down to a nice thin uh, edge. Now, how does it cut? Um, whoops. I mean, you know, this has been through a few reviewers. Uh, now, my biggest problem is staying out of that finger choil. And I guess if I, if I get out here, I do better. Uh, so yeah, it cuts fine. It's just more of an issue with staying out of that finger choil there. And you do have plenty of room uh, on the sharpening there. So very cool, interesting new uh, company for me to try out. Again, $54 for 62 hardness, um, 14C28. It's hard to beat that. It really, really is. That is impressive. Um, and again, I've not really seen any of the rest of their knives. Uh, but not bad uh, for a budget one to take out hiking or camping or even to work and that kind of thing. Again, for me, since I have four fingers back here, I would prefer that they just gave me the rest of that blade, um, you know, rather than that big, deep sharpening choil there, because it just makes it harder for me to do big cuts. If you're going to give me a big blade, give me all the blade. Again, I, I, I look, I know the sharpening, the finger choil thing is kind of, back and forth. And if it's a smaller knife, like my microburst, I totally agree with the finger choil. But if I've got four fingers, I don't really need the finger choil. I'd rather have the extra blade. But again, everybody's got an opinion and mine is not always right. Uh, and if Scarlett were here, she would agree with that. So uh, there you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think of this one down below. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.